Okay, this is just a quick video to show how to use Portfolio to gain deeper into the system. Now, Greyhack is a game. So I ended up getting this mission contract. Client wants you to enter a remote machine and get a file that contains important information for them. Uh, IP is 97, well, right here. Basically, we hacked our way into here. This is the internet, this is the router, I'm here. Uh, the address is here. We have a clear path through this maze, but that doesn't matter. So, um, we'll open up the file explorer. I've got all kinds of programs I've uploaded to this thing trying to get the job done but I keep seeing bright objects on the scan land and I, I want I want more so this is a I'm just going to show you how to open ports see we're on this subnet to get to a different subnet and I just tried it and it works we're going to get here the program we're going to use is essentially it's scan web I'm going to list the the links I took a uh, I uh, on Steam in the guides there is a starter scan program I took that and then put scan web which is a video from Greyhack uh, into the scan web so what we're gonna do is essentially we want to get from here onto this subnet now ping successful there's no firewalls in the way we bypass this firewall I got in there and I messed around that might be coming up in a different video so while I still can't really do anything here this is this is going to be interesting uh, a real learning experience okay so if we do a huh. what did I do uh, da, 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 da. this this game really requires a larger screen than what I've got yeah so nmap only shows us what's on our subnet it's, thought that's what is okay okay you yeah cuz you're connected no doesn't matter what we're gonna do is we're going to open a browser since we're here we're gonna open a browser here And we're going to get in there through port 8080, which right here is open. All right, now we're in the port forwarding of uh, this router right here. What we want to do, we want to get into this computer. So that's 172.16.3.7, right there. It's got two, this router has two ports open for that computer. So, this is the, the script, um, let's try port 80. Beginner scanner, I kept this in the script because I got it from the guy from Steam. Thank you very much. I'm going to have to credit you in the, in the credits um, because I don't remember your name. I didn't prepare for this video. I just found this when I was dicking, dicking around in this system. And I'm like, wow, that's kind of cool. I never saw that. 
Now, the reason I like his script is because it gives you the attack memory addresses. Now, of course, insufficient, we failed, so we couldn't get on to, we couldn't get on to this system. Um, be, and, but if we look at this, it says insufficient amount of port, of port forward towards the target. Exploit failed. And that was trying to get guest privileges. So is there any... Yeah, it doesn't look like there are any... Well, obtained from root. Minimum users registered failed. Okay, so that's no problem. So we have this. We've got two ports forward already to that system. So let's add an entry. We'll, we'll open up port one to that system and save it. And let's add another one. This, we're gonna open up port two and save it. Now, let's try that attack again. Now, I am new to this game. And I love it because you have to learn how to program to really do much at all. Yeah, you got the hack shop and all that, but yeah. So now that we have enough port fours to the target, we have guest access. There's only one user on this system. So if we wanted root, in theory, we, had, we would want to figure out a way to add more users into the home directory so that we could automatically get root. Otherwise, we have to escalate privileges from here, and I'm not going to show how to do that because I haven't even tried it yet. Um, Yeah, there's nothing really special here to say, to show anymore, but on the land map, this is where we started. That's us, or that was that's our active shell that we started with. And we have our active shell down here on this subnet. So this is where we're at now. So if we start probing where we're at, we're going to get all of these computers here. Oh, I don't have, oh, I have nothing on this computer, so I can't really do anything. But I'm going to just leave that, I'm going to leave that uh, right there. I use port forwarding to bypass into this subnet. So we went from this subnet, which is all blue, port forwarded through this router. So this router opened ports to this computer on this subnet, and we jumped subnets. Everybody have a great day.